CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with the Custom Comfy Crochet and today I'm going to teach you how to make this really cool, um, well I'm making a keychain, but you could turn this into anything you want. You could make a bracelet out of it, you could make a necklace out of it, it's just a really cool easy little stitch to do. I'm going to be, um, like I said, doing this as a keychain and then I'm going to add some little pearls in the middle with my hot glue gun. Um, you don't have to add anything to it, of course, but if you did want to add some sequins or pearls or buttons or something, you could use hot glue or fabric glue. So that's totally up to you. Um, this is a Hobby Lobby yarn and it's very similar to like a home deck yarn. If you want to know, that's what I'm using, but you can use any yarn that you want for this. You can use small yarn, big yarn, big hook, small hook. All of that is up to you. And of course it will determine the size of your project. But I'm using a 5.25 millimeter hook. You will need a pair of scissors and you will need a darning needle or a crochet needle. Looks like this. And I would like to ask you to please like, share, and subscribe. Um, that helps so much, um, especially when you share my video. You can share them on uh, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, to your friends, family, anything like that. It really helps so much and I really appreciate it, okay? So as I said, I'm making a keychain, but you don't have to do that. You could just start without doing this. You could just make a slip knot, um, but I'm going to basically be making a slip knot around um, or bringing in my yarn uh, rather around this keychain. So I'm gonna bring in my yarn, do a chain one like that, and then I'm gonna go right back in the keychain again, and I'm going to do a single crochet. And that's just holding everything into place just like that. Then I'm going to chain two, okay? And then after I chain two, I'm working into the second chain from the hook. So right here's the first one. So I'm going into the second one and I'm going to put six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to go right into my first half double crochet and I'm going to slip stitch to close, okay? So I've kind of turned my work now. Now I'm gonna go back up the side this way. So I'm gonna go into my second stitch here and I'm going to put a slip stitch. Then I'm gonna go into my next and put a slip stitch. And then into my next, I'm going to put a slip stitch. And this has caused me to come all the way back around to the top here. So then I'm going to chain two again. And in the second chain from the hook, I'm going to put six half double crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, and six, six half double crochets. And then I'm turning my work where it's facing this way up now. I'm gonna go into my first stitch and I'm going to slip stitch to close. Just like that. Then I'm gonna go into my next stitch. I'm gonna put a slip stitch into my next, put a slip stitch and into my next and put a slip stitch. Looks like this. Then I'm going to chain two again. In the second chain from the hook, again, I'm going to put six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I'm going to be turning my work facing up now, and I'm going to go right into my first half double crochet, and I'm going to make a slip stitch to close. Then I'm going to go into my next stitch and make a slip stitch, into my next and make a slip stitch, and into my next and make a slip stitch.
and there we go. And so the one thing I would like you to know about this, that's the only difficult thing, this is definitely beginner friendly and really easy, but the one thing that could trip you up is, are you turning your work right? Is it, should it face this way? Should it face that way? And I wanna tell you to just go with the flow of it. If you do exactly what I'm telling you to do, it's gonna turn out okay. Like you can't mess it up. So let's do it one more time. Chain two, half double crochet in the second chain from the hook one six times two three four five and six then you're going to slip stitch into your first stitch so see having to do that's going to make you turn it this way so you don't even have to think about it you know that in order to slip stitch into there you're going to have to be this way with your hook and yarn so just go through there do a slip stitch to close go into your very next stitch and make a slip stitch and the next make a slip stitch and in the next make a slip stitch so that's why I wanted to make this very um, beginner friendly. And so by doing it this way, there's not, you don't really have to think about what you're doing. So that's why I created it like this. And then of course, when you get to the top, you're going to chain two, go into your second chain from the hook, put six half double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then you're going to put a slip stitch into your first half double crochet. Then you're going to put a slip stitch into your next stitch, a slip stitch into the next, and a slip stitch into the next. And then you'll start all over again. So what I'm gonna do now is just quietly play some music and just go ahead and finish this out and let you watch in case you didn't get it yet and then you can just see what I'm doing, okay?
so we're at the end of this now for me. This is as long as I want it to be, but you could go longer. Um, and like I said, you can make a bracelet, you can make um, a necklace, you can make anything you wanted with this, but I'm gonna keep mine like this. And then I'm gonna cut off the end. You could put a tassel on the end, you could do whatever you want, but I'm just gonna leave a long piece and I'm probably gonna put some pearls on the bottom as well. So then I'm just gonna pull through like this. If you didn't wanna have any end at all, um, then you could work this in with your darning needle into the back of your project so you can't see it. But what I'm gonna do right now is put these pearls on here. Then I'm gonna work in my top piece here because I don't want this hanging. So I am gonna work this into the back. So I'm gonna turn this over and make sure everything's lined up here. And then what I'll do is I'll go through this middle first single crochet to get it lined up. And then I'll start working in the back here, making sure to not go through to the front of my work. Just like this. Work it in three or four times so you feel like it's really nice and then you can cut off. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you need any help or anything, you can comment below or you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and I have a Gmail. It's all in the description box. I love to see your finished work. A lot of times people share pictures with me, so you can do that as well. And I usually, if, it, if I have your permission, I'll post your pictures on my Facebook um, or my Instagram or TikTok. So yeah, feel free to share and I hope everyone has a lovely Mother's Day and I'll see you soon. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.